Today marks the first day of the South Korean state visit of President Yoon suk yeol and his wife, First Lady Kim Kyun-hee. Princess Catherine looked impeccably gorgeous in a 3,000-pound stunning caped red coat from Catherine Walker as she joined Prince William, King Charles and Queen Camilla to meet the President and First Lady of South Korea today. She is totally stunning a beautiful future queen. That's right, folks. The Princess of Wales is back in the coat dresses, but with a twist. On November 21st, the Princess of Wales re-wore a bright red Catherine Walker coat dress, with its unmistakable statement bow enclosure at the front, which we've seen on her in 2021, Perel. If not for the distinctive bow, I might not even have clocked this as the same dress, because for this occasion, the princess topped the dress with a dramatic Catherine Walker cape in exactly the same shade of red. Opting for complimenting John Vito Rossi shoes and a matching hat by Jane Taylor, Kate paid a subtle tribute to the late queen, who too was a fan of color blocking. The Princess of Wales wore her hair up in a sleek bun and opted for a glamorous makeup look including a smoky eye as she drove to Horse Guards Parade. A necklace was clearly unnecessary here, so Kate's only jewelry was her engagement ring and her favorite sapphire and diamond heirloom earrings from Princess Diana's collection. Princess Catherine and Prince William drove in a town car to meet Yin Suk Yeol and his wife Kim Kian He at their central London hotel before accompanying to a reception at Buckingham Palace, where they met the king and queen. Prince William and Princess Catherine joined King Charles and Queen Camilla to welcome President Yoon Suk Yeol of South Korea and his wife Kim Kian He in London, who had arrived for a two-day state visit to the UK. The guests of honor were first greeted by Prince William and Princess Kate at their hotel this morning before accompanying them to Horse Guards Parade in central London where they will be given a ceremonial welcome. During the formal welcome on the Royal Pavilion presentations were made, while the Guards of Honor gave the Royal Salute and South Korea's National Anthem will be played. The President and the King then inspect the Guard of Honor before the Royals and their guests traveled to Buckingham Palace in a carriage procession along the Mall. After a private lunch hosted by Charles, he will take his visitors to view a special exhibition in the picture gallery of items relating to South Korea that are kept in the royal collection.